Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So in the last video, we exported this base mesh from Maya and today we are going to import it in ZBrush and sculpt some details. So when you start ZBrush, it will look something like this. So I'm just going to hide this box here and import our model. So I'm going to go here in the import and just look for my model. Select this uh, OBJ file and import. Now draw your model here in the viewport and uh, enable the edit mode. You can press T also. So go to your sub tools and uh, now we need to split this handle from this hammer head so that we can have better access to all the cavities and other stuff. I'm going to go in the split and click here split two parts. It's going to show you this warning and click OK. Now we have two sub tools in our sub tool section. We have this head and this handle. So I'm just going to select this uh, head and uh, hide this handle. Change your view to perspective. Now all the meshes we import uh, in ZBrush, they're already converted to Polymesh 3D. So we don't have to click on this make Polymesh 3D. We can just uh, go to geometry and uh, we can uh, increase the subdivisions. So I'm just going to go in the DynaMesh and increase the resolution to something like this 320 and then DynaMesh to evenly distribute the mesh flow something like this and turn it off now let's uh, subdivide it you can also go to geometry and click here divide or you can press ctrl d so i'm just going to make it 1.2 million points should be enough now let's go to this material and let's change it i'm going to take this matcap gray And uh, first we're going to add some uh, damage to these corners and for that I'm going to take this uh, brush here, Trim Dynamic. Increase the brush size just a little and uh, let's add some details like this. We're also going to add some scratches and some cuts in this hammer head but first we have to add some details to these corners just you can also take help from the real life references of uh, hammers you can uh, download images from google or you can also watch videos of blacksmith hammers so it will give you a good idea how to add uh, these damages I'm just going to use my trim dynamic and just get rid of these uh, hard edges like this Just keep adding detailings. Uh, I think 
this much should be enough and now I'm going to just zoom in and add some dent here just decrease the draw size of your brush and add some damage like this You can also use some custom brushes to add the details and you can also use the trim smooth border or this but uh, that brush gives you a little more hard uh, edges like rocks. So I'm just going to add some detail like this and Now the oval corners of our hammer is done. Let's go here and uh, add some damage here in this part. So decrease your brush size and uh, just sculpt here like this. Now what you can do is uh, you can go to your brushes and let's select this clay buildup and increase the brush size and intensity and to add some more damage what you can do is you can just paint like this and then in the negative and just smooth it out by pressing shift and like this. So again add some clay build up like this then press alt and in the negative just add some dents and then smooth it out a shift and smooth it like this. Repeat the same thing here just a little bit to add some damage. like this and smooth you can also uh, turn down the intensity of this smooth so press shift and uh, turn down the z intensity and smooth it out like this Now what you can do is um, you can scroll down and here in the surface let's add some noise on the surface of this hammerhead so go to noise and uh, let's increase the scale and see how it looks so I think 1.5 looks fine and uh, click OK and to apply this noise on the surface of this hammer just click here apply to mesh so our hammer is uh, almost done let's add some scratches and cuts so for that i'm going to use a brush pack uh, it's called orb brushes so this is a free brush pack and you can download these brushes from the link in the description so i'll provide all the necessary links 
in the description so go check them out so when you import your brushes in zbrush go to lightbox and in the brushes here you'll see this old brush and uh, let's try this uh, orb slash and set your uh, strokes to drag rectangle and I'm just going to drag and add scratch like this maybe one here and one here add some little details Like this and uh, if you think these uh, cuts are too strong what you can do is go to this uh, trim dynamic and just smooth them out just a little bit like this So our hammer looks fine. Now let's uh, move on to our handle. So what I'm going to do is go to my sub tools and select this handle. And I'm going to hide this hammer head for now. So go to the geometry for this. And uh, on our handle we are using just 480 points. So I'm going to go in Dynamesh and subdivide it. So Increase the resolution, click on Dynamesh and then turn it off. Now we are still on 40,000 points, so I'm going to divide it. So press Ctrl D or in the geometry, you can select this divide. And uh, let's, let's go to 2.5. I think this should be more than enough. So I'm going to turn this polyframe off and uh, let's start sculpting. So we have some uh, hard edges here so what we can do is increase the brush size and select your trim dynamic and uh, just sculpt it like this add some dent here and you can smooth by pressing shift and it will get rid of these uh, hard edges but we'll do that in a minute so go here and if the intensity is too much you can turn it down here and just like this And now I'm going to increase my brush size and press shift. Decrease the intensity a little and then smooth these things out. Maybe a little more intensity. And smooth these hard edges. Now let's uh, add some damages here on the top and bottom. Go here. Decrease your draw size and uh, just trimming these corners like this.
and uh, repeat the same thing here in the bottom increase the brush size and just add some damage like this And for the wood, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an alpha. So here go to this alpha, click on import and uh, I'm using this uh, wood alpha here and you can also download this from the link in the description. It's also free So select it and import. So change your brush from trim dynamic to uh, standard and now just go to alpha and uh, select that wood alpha. Change the stroke to drag rectangle and uh, now you can use this. If the intensity is too high, you can press Ctrl Z to undo and just turn down the intensity. Now this looks fine. So just add fibers like this. On the top, just a little fiber and something like this. Add some here. So our wood is done and if the fibers are too strong what you can do is you can go to the brush and uh, here in the polish just increase the brush size and you can polish here like this it's going to make these fibers a little soft like this. And if it is deforming your mesh, you can decrease the brush size and the intensity. Let's make it something like this. And then just polish. and we need to take the standard brush again and add some fibers here like this now take the polish brush again and uh, just make them a little soft like this And now go to Lightbox again and in the brushes select uh, these orb brush and let's select this orb slash and let's add some cuts here like this in the wood. We can add something like this and one big one here and we are also going to tweak these cuts so just add one here and one here now let's take the trim dynamic brush change the brush size make it small and just change the stroke to freehand and remove this alpha and uh, let's 
add some damage to the corner of these uh, cuts change the alpha to this uh, alpha 0 1 and let's remove this hard edge like this So now our wood is also done. So if you see something like this, what you can do is uh, go to clay build up and let's add some clay here like this and uh, press alt and then sculpt it in the negative and then uh, smooth it out just a little bit like this our hammer is uh, done so let's go to sub tools and uh, unhide this now let's go to in your sub tools and here you'll see this merge and uh, you can select this top in your Sub tools and click on this merge down it's going to merge these two geometries down click ok and uh, now this is one single sub tool and uh, here you can see that we are on 3.82 million points so we are going to create a low poly version of this hammer in zbrush itself so i'm going to finish this video here and in the next part we are going to export this high poly model and a low poly version of this mesh from zbrush to maya to clean it up and unwrap and then we will move on to texturing so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then thanks for watching and thanks for taking the membership and uh, i'll see you in the next one